It's been nearly a week of demonstrations at the Columbia University campus. More than 100 students have been arrested so far, and pro-Palestinian demonstrators have been demanding a ceasefire in Gaza and are upset about the school's handling of the conflict. CBS 2's Zania Maldonado is in front of campus this morning for us, where everything appears quiet for now, but she'll have a look at what today may look like later on. Zania? Doug and Elaine, yeah, this morning things are pretty quiet out here. We haven't seen an NYPD a presence or a, a gathering of students as such, but we don't really know what's going on behind the gates as we can't really see the main lawn from out here, of course, which is where a number of these students have been gathering, although we do anticipate there could be yet a fifth day of demonstrations taking place here at Columbia University as students have continued to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. Now, Saturday marked the fourth day in a row that pro Palestinian demonstrations took place at the school. A large group of protesters gathered outside the university gates, while inside, students were back out on the main lawn. Pro-Palestinian demonstrators have been occupying the main lawn for several days. Video shows us from overhead protesters sprawled out on sleeping bags and mats on Friday with banners and Palestinian flags laid out around them. They are demanding a ceasefire in Gaza, as we mentioned, but also for Columbia University to divest from Israel. Now, the NYPD arrested more than 100 people Thursday at the encampment they set up on the lawn. Columbia University's president saying its policies for demonstrators are to support both the right to expression and the safety and functioning of the university, which the encampment violated. Now, students at several other universities, including Boston University, Harvard, and Ohio State, have followed suit from uh, Columbia University students gathering uh, protesting, calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. They have been taking place following the beginning uh, Wednesday when these demonstrations uh, first started to happen. So no word, though, just yet on how long these demonstrations could last. We're live this morning from Morningside Heights. Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zinnia, thank you. And as we expect demonstrations to continue this morning, stay with CBS 2 for the latest on air and online at cbsnewyork.com.